Yeah. All right, what's uh, your question? Amit, I was so, going to send you a screenshot because Amit, I mean, Palantir was the only green position in my portfolio. Yeah. Day. I was like, we have reached the upside down world from strange. Well, strange. you should have bought Google. It's been doing pretty <laughs> well. Times. Anyway, <laughs> my, uh, it's Mylan. Yeah, yeah. So I've been looking at PayPal uh, the last couple of weeks. I'm sure you guys have seen it's just been crashing, uh, despite like what I thought were pretty good earnings. Like they crushed all their numbers, like revenue, uh, operating income, all that stuff. They seem like they crushed everything. And I guess my one concern is like their subscriber growth isn't that hasn't been improving much. Like that's kind of stayed the same or dropped a little bit. Um, and so that kind of made me think, you know, maybe I don't want to invest in this company. And I feel like PayPal is kind of like for older users. So maybe it isn't going to grow. But then I, I learned that they, they own uh, Brain Braintree which is like something that operates in the background. So a lot of the times on like websites like Airbnb, like you're paying on Airbnb, but you're actually using a PayPal product. So like, I, I guess I just kind of wanted to get you guys thoughts. on And PayPal. Venmo, like, don't forget about Venmo. Right. Yeah. They have Venmo too. Um, yeah. So I guess like all those things, I've just been trying to like figure out like, is this a play that I want to make? And is this like slowing subscriber growth or even decreasing subscriber growth, like a big enough issue to where I, I shouldn't invest? I like just kind of want to get you guys thoughts. But Tally, on you own this stock. What are your thoughts? I'm sad I own it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you had a thesis originally when you bought it. So why aren't you DCAing? Like, okay, so yeah, because I thought fintech had more of a moat. And I've come to realize over doing much more research over the last year or two that fintech itself has no moat. There is no okay. IP. There is nothing special wow. about banks, about fintech at all. Besides the network, the network is important. So PayPal does have a massive network, but in terms of the tech itself, insignificant. And we brought right. up SoFi, Galileo, that might be significant, but otherwise I would say all FinTech is shit. Now, th this is the thesis that I, even I'm looking at PayPal again, by the way, to buy either to buy some sort of calls or to buy something on it, because this is the thesis. If PayPal is IBM, we're all screwed, right? Because at some point- yeah. Even Warren Buffett was like, we got to buy IBM. It's like, it's the leader in, in its pack. If this is happening where subscriber growth is just drying up and it's not growing, then you no longer have a growth company and they better pay a dividend. So that's over. So this is the bet right now. If you think it's IBM, there's no reason to, to buy PayPal. But if it is undervalued because all their other metrics were good, besides the most important one, which is growing their subscribers and, and, the, and the TT, what do they, they call it? Total TTM? revenue or TTM. Tra TTM. Trailing 12 months revenue, yeah. No, no, no. It's like it's it's the total payment, total oh, payment, transaction, yeah, revenue. TPV or something like that. I forgot the term, but total payment volume. If that that is sort of growing, but if it also right. slows down, you have to watch that. So I would say I'm no longer investing in fintech. Me personally, I'm just not interested in it. Too many other stocks that are down that are better. There's Google's, there's Amazon's that are down. Uh, PayPal is just not as interesting. But looking at the price action right now and the fact that it's at a five year low, just speaking on that part. There is probably a trade here. I think that's happening. That there's going to be. But hold on, but hold on. Is there a reason the market's giving it a five year low? Like, is there something deeper to this other than. Because it's they just believe it's IBM right now. They believe it's over. The growth is done. PayPal has grown. That's it. And then the fact that it's separated from eBay, it happened years ago, but still, they're still feeling the effects of separating from eBay and losing all that money from, that they were getting from eBay. So, unless they get some sort of massive influx or a new client or something big happens. What is the growth vector here? I don't know. So that's that's kind of why I brought up Braintree. That's why it's so interesting to me because it seems like Braintree is growing. Like that part of the business seems like it's growing. What so does I'm Braintree do in a sentence? What do they do? So like if you're on Airbnb and you're paying on Airbnb, you're actually using a PayPal product. It just oh, doesn't do say API PayPal. For yeah, okay. yeah. And so they have a bunch of like big vendors that you've heard of. So like right. that aspect of the business is growing. Um, so like I was wondering, like maybe that sort of counteracts this – growth that they're not seeing in their their like classic app you know what i'm saying i don't know if i'm wording that well no i don't i don't think investors give a shit about the brain tree acquisition it's i mean obviously yeah. they don't but, care but, but you might have a growth story because of brain tree but it doesn't seem like the market cares the, the question is right now when you go on a website and you see a link for paypal for brain tree for amazon for google do you care which one as long as you have as long as it's there so i think no it's like, not really i think that the problem is right now apple is eating some of their lunch uh, people think that this is a dying company. They're losing all this market share. I'm not saying that's true. I still think they have a growth vector. I just, and I think there's a trade to be made, but is this the best investment currently right now? I don't know. There's a lot of great things that are down and I don't want to say the names, but we've heard them here before. <laughs>
TFC. And truest. truest. <laughs> you got to look at that fucking stock, man. I'm not about to jump and do something on this stock. Piggybacking, <laughs> piggybacking off of what Vitaly said, yeah, I think there's a trade to be made here. But I don't know. I don't know how you, I don't know how you structure your portfolio. But like when you're, you're – you can only focus on so many companies at at a, at a time, right? And so sure. I ask myself before I'm going to invest in a company, like it's like dating someone, right? Are you really going to want to have to keep track of like PayPal news? Like, does that sound exciting <laughs> good to you? Point. It's a good to point. be like, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to, you have to protect that investment. And how you protect sure. that investment is by information. So do you want to like suddenly follow all these people that are talking about PayPal on Twitter? Or would you rather follow other companies that may be a little bit more exciting or have their hands in other things, or maybe they're emerging businesses? So it's not to say that there isn't money to be made there, but do you want to spend any amount of time out of your investment day following up on news on PayPal, protecting that <clears> investment? <throat> Personally, no. Like Vitaly's saying, maybe there's a trade. Maybe you buy a you know a two a two year leap. You buy a couple contracts and you, you let. It I, I do want to point. There is a massive trade, and, and I have been seriously looking at it too. The What's PE the trade? Is What's the trade? The What's PE the trade? is thirteen <clears throat> right now. Yeah. So if and PayPal full, is forward PE, right? The forward PE yeah, is forward PE. But still, if that stays low, 10, just like Meta went down to something stupid, PayPal, if they have any real growth and they're supposed to keep up with around the double digit growth, they're supposed to do this. This should be a 20 plus PE. There is a doubling of the stock that is going to come eventually, I believe. So there is and a trade. Also, but once the again, the company is also buying back a ton of their stock. Like they just said that in the earnings report too. So like I've been thinking about that too. So I don't know if that impacts your decision right? at that, all. That's a dog. It, it does. Mm -hmm. It does. It's basically like we're buying back our shares. Where we're taking off the float. That means the stock price will have to lift. In either case, as long the as they EPS keep up this, has to go up. As long right. as they keep up this double digit growth, which I think they will. By the way, once again, there is a great trade to be made. I do believe it. I but. I don't know. Once it got to Carlos's point, I'm focusing on so many other good companies. That's that what I'm saying. It's like, hard to like want to buy more PayPal. Even I own PayPal. I own a lot of PayPal, by the way. Okay, my question for you. Do you, see a, <laughs> do you see a podcast called PayPal Weekly being successful? <laughs> think about no, that. No, maybe not. Right? How about, about SoFi Weekly? If, if it's a value stock, I don't think that matters. Like, yeah. like, <laughs> if, it, if it's a stupid valuation, even if there's no media coverage on it, Yes, yes. I mean, like, I think it is a TFC stupid is a good buy too, right? Like, I don't know if there'd be a, a weekly podcast on that either, right? That is on one. not a great opportunity. TFC. TCF, sorry, T TCF. No, no, oh, uh, TFC, TFC, TFC. TFC, TFC. Truest, TFC. Truest, Truest. I forget yeah. the, the should, TCF. Yeah. There should be a podcast on TTC. <laughs> but, but see, here's it's the thing. Lot, <laughs> but here's the, here's the thing about it. Most businesses that you want to invest in, they're boring companies. They're the ones that are sure. going to survive the time. This this is a bank that's been around since 18 fucking something like wow, he's it's, pivoted, it's old it's been <laughs> it's been merged with a lot of stuff so i think what it is is there's a lot of times where innovation and disruption they come around and people are like oh my god the the, the brick and mortars are dead no one's ever going to use a brick and mortar bank again and people don't realize that look there's still value in a lot of these things so every mm -hmm. time people sell off like the status quo thinking that it's this is going to be completely disrupted don't think that there's actually still a lot of value that's out there, especially for something that's down significantly paying a great dividend has like multiple income sources and businesses. So when you do a deep analysis, you're like, wait a second, why am I paying PayPal whose growth is starting to slow down and their valuation is still relatively high, especially looking at it from a PE perspective, because it's a PE right now is 26 forward PE, maybe, maybe a little bit like more, you know, better. But on the other hand, Truist is only a six PE. The price to book is 0. 0.6. So they and have the more average assets PE for a bank is 11, by the way. Yeah. So when you think about it in the short term, while there is all this chaos in the market where everyone's like, oh my God, regional banks are dead forever. When no one's, like, dude, that is the place that I want to be because I want to find who, who um, everyone is missing, buy them, hold on, and literally walk on the other side and get a nice, 70, I, 80 to 100 percent. I think that to, to summarize what Chris is saying as well, you're looking mm -hmm. at PayPal and a lot of people are because it's like, all right, valuation is getting stupid, market doesn't respect it, 50, uh, five year low, forget 52 week low. And then Chris is like, what is a sector that is solid, but the market is irrationally throwing it away or rationally because the regional banking crisis is a little bit of a big deal. And there's deep, deep value that the market threw out. PayPal has been thrown out since November 2021, all the way down from 300. The market's been throwing sure. it, throwing it, throwing, throwing it out versus companies that are in a sector just like meta that got thrown out because it was the next myspace when all of tech got thrown out and then chris and vitaly made a fuck ton of money on meta i think that's what we're looking for versus just you know another company mm -hmm. that's down right now yeah and sure. when tiktok came around people were like oh my god meta's dead everyone sell meta and when they sold it off we we're like wait a second 
this is this has got this still got three fucking billion people using all their platform. That is where you want to be. When everyone, you know what they say with Buffett. When everyone is selling, you should be looking into buying, right? The question is, just make sure it's a quality company with good returns, great net income, good management that's solid. And literally, all you have to do is just chill. And then well, let the I, I want to point out, PayPal is that company. Back. So they are a oh, solid the, But company. the street doesn't respect it. That's the thing. The street's yeah. not being irrational about it. I don't think they're being no, irrational. No, they're being irrational. I'm telling you. There, there is a trade here. I don't know how long this is going to take. And maybe I think someone pointed out there's a new CEO coming at the end of the year. Just yeah. changing the CEO could be a catalyst for it to go back to a 20 PE. That's the way the market works, dude. It's a trade. But you the whole said thing. fintech has no moat. Are you sure the no street's being irrational Apple, here? Apple can come up with a like every company. Okay, Apple's Apple came out with a card. People are starting to put money in, like they're you know this Apple this Apple bank that's underwritten was say by J.P. Morgan. How many other companies do you think are going to do the same thing and try to take a little piece, a little piece of the of the transactions that happen? That's my point. Maybe, that's something. Maybe the yeah yeah, but not this is the TikTok people, thing. People it is irrational. Apple is people TikTok are trusting thing. Apple with their money, say over J.P. Morgan, right? It's right. like. That's fair. No, no, but that's the TikTok thing because Meta, when when Meta was dropping to eighty, it was like TikTok is winning, they're killing them. Meta's dead, blah blah blah. It's the same thing. Apple is going to eat some of the lunch, of yeah. course, and TikTok ate some of, but Meta still makes a shit ton of money. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. And there's many ways yeah. for these good companies to make a lot of money, and PayPal will continue to be used. I use, I use it all PayPal the time. every day too. So. Yeah, I use it all the time. Here, yeah. There is a and growth it, story. It's just not the thirty percent growth story that uh, maybe we want as growth yeah. investors. But having said that, I still have my shares. I'm not selling them. I think there is a trade to be made, and I think it'll go back up to double digits, a uh, triple digits. I'm sorry, yeah. and it's going to happen. It's going to take some time. And don't expect the incumbents to just sit down and take it, because like, that's why you had Zelle. Zelle right now is probably one of the most popular um, um, applications mm -hmm. right now being used to transfer money and everything else. And all the banks they got together and said, you know what? If we don't do something about it, fintech is going to disrupt us. So what are we going to do? We're going to get ahead of them and develop our own platform. Well, the, the cash app. Use. A lot of the contractors yeah. that I hire, they only use the cash app, which I'm like. So oh. cash app is number one, like in the app store, cash yep. app's number one, Venmo is number two, PayPal's number three. Right? Yeah. yeah. But so, most, okay. Mostly with, 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 uh, like, like, uh, employees, that hire service before, bases, it's all Zelle with, um, contractors. It's all cash app. And between friends, it's all Venmo. Like that's sure. essentially how sure. I use those three apps. I use all Venmo, even for all the rentals I have, everybody pays through Venmo. But the thing is, once again, the moat, how much money do they make from, they make nothing from those people paying me. That's the thing. So they need some idiot to click on. I need my money right away. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <Right>. That's something. <laughs> so transfer. Yeah. I always wondered how they make money. So this like, is what I'm saying. Right the moat is idiotic. <laughs> like it's this is or not like, a great. Like, yeah, or it's like it's industry. like credit credit karma. Credit karma. You know, it, it, it's a website that's that's running. The only yeah, time but, they make money. The only time they make money. Like they they get all your data. They scour your credit report. They make you an offer, and they only make money if you click on one of the offers and take yeah. like one of their personal loans. Then they make a small piece of it. It's now granted, so PayPal hard, pay, PayPal makes money from uh, businesses though, because I, I conduct some business on there and they I have do. to pay a fee. So Venmo right. doesn't do that. Oh yeah, yeah. PayPal. And yeah. so you know what? Small business people tell me, pay me as a friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. And I'm like, no, I don't that, care. That, sure. that happened to me. That happened to me where a client sent me too much money, <laughs> and then but it was done through a business, and they couldn't get their money back. I couldn't send them their money back. And this yep. was like a month that they locked up their cash. And the dude was like, he was in Hawaii. He couldn't pay his rent. It sucked for him. But then I was like, just pay me as a friend. And it was over. Yeah. And so one of the things is just a lot more people are starting to use Zelle because it's already part of the ecosystem of their normal banking system. So they don't have to do anything extra. They don't have to transfer right. money to another account. So like I said, there are multiple. And this is where I think Vitaly is actually really correct in that fintech does not have a moat. Because if, if the traditional banks can come up and just say, you know what? Fuck it. We'll do an app just like SoFi. Plus, we have brick and mortar. We're going to win the fucking debate. That easy. You know, or so at that's some the point, thing that's at some point just like I'm telling yeah. you, I, I did not like what Capital One uh, turned um, ING into. I really liked the simplicity of it, but ING just went away. Yeah. ING was like my preferred bank. It was it was a fantastic bank. And then it just went away. One day to the next, just went away. I used to love ShareBuilder. Guess what? That Capital One bought that too. It's like yeah. that's that's the danger with these. They get gobbled up. I, I, I want to just make one other comment to the, the moat thing. I've thought about this long and hard because I did lose a lot of money on PayPal. Like, why are they not winning, right? And then I thought about all the other companies that are winning, like Meta, right? Like, why are they back up and, and PayPal is not? And the reason is this moat thing. But then you go a little bit deeper. There is no network between people that is sticky. That's the problem. Meta has a sticky network between people. Like Instagram, it's hard to get away from it because my friends are there and their friends are there and whatever. What is the, if I use PayPal to pay somebody 
And then the next day I'm using Cash App. Yeah. Cash no. I, I, <laughs> There's nothing. Or Zelle. Yeah. Like Ven, Venmo is trying to do the friend. The feed, so, so, but... so real quick, why were you buying it in 2021? What, oh, because you thought there was a larger moat. I thought, around. I believe that, that PayPal was winning this like online payments thing. And obviously that I'm not saying they're not getting good market share and they're not going to grow. But once again, I realized, oh, the, I realized this main point that between people, it doesn't matter. So if that doesn't matter, that means there's no moat between people. So if even if I love PayPal, I can't convince anybody to use it. But you know, to, I, I, listen, to your point, you can't make a social media. You can't make everything a social media. This is what Venmo tried yeah. to do. It's like I don't want my me paying my pool guy to be this thing that no, it doesn't have to be social emotion. media. I, that's, I I'm also talking about like Tesla. You know? you, when when you, when you have a Tesla in the driveway. Someone comes up to you and talks to you. They're like, oh, I really want that. You know? But saying oh, there's no ecosystem. There's no brand. Yeah, I, oh, I, there's nothing. You know, let and me guys, take you for guys, a drive. And then he's like, oh, this is really cool. I want that. You don't go guys, to the PayPal app and like, oh, I want that. You know what don't I mean? For, don't forget about the legislative changes that recently came around where the reporting of anything excess of, I think, $500 or something has to be reported. 600. 600. 600 oh, yeah, that right? fucking bullshit, bro. That's now imagine you're a small business. You want to get eight thousand, like $800, $900 service. Now, what are you going to do? Yeah, you could split it up into like two different things and all this other nonsense. But right now, a lot of people, they have to report it up and they might not be reporting that income, which is Cash like, app. okay. Yeah. Cash so app. now you can't really use it. Like, I, <laughs> what's his name? The Hindenburg. Remember the whole thing the with Cash, cash app? app? That's why the rappers yeah. do the Cash App. All right. All right.